now this is a story about a girl who chose to obey and do the will of the Lord. And now, even though it took some wrong turns and some upside down moments, the spear within her kept her moving her forward. Now, I don't know much about poetry, but I hope you stick around to know more about my story. Oh, yeah. God bless. Ooh, 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 ooh. Jesus is rocks. Jesus is rocks. Oh yeah, oh yeah, stick around and know more about my story. Oh yeah. God bless, love you, keep on smiling, stay positive. Jesus loves you, so do I. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's basically, is it the afternoon quite yet? I think it is. Oops. <laughs> yeah, it's the afternoon. <laughs> I didn't film this morning because I was just running late as far as getting myself going. Because I woke up, I slept in. And the time I woke up, Ricky Zachary was already in the shower. So, <laughs> I had to basically... Um, just didn't film this morning because I wanted to get myself going after he was out of the shower. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a fabulous day today. I am doing so much better. My headache has gone away since like 8.30. I would say 8.30 last night. I wasn't sure about the time exactly, but somewhere around that time. 8-ish to 9-ish time zone. Uh, it went away and it stayed away so far. Um... My mom had asked me um, how I was feeling this earlier. She said, I'm doing a lot better. I haven't had any issues. I basically told her what I told you. And she's like, well, I did ask the church to pray for you with all your circumstances. And so maybe that was the answer to prayer. I knew God would have healed me eventually. I know it's a godsend thing, but thank you. I know you guys are not seeing this, but thank you to all my church family that have been praying for me. I appreciate it. Um, especially those who know what migraine headaches are if you ever go on through them they're terrible um so anyway i'm doing good so far and i've got the vacuuming done i didn't do any dusting because our house is not as i don't want to say it's dusty as bad now since our cat we don't have any animals now and the fact that our furnace has been cleaned out and we got a new basically a new one so our house is not as dirty or dusty now, so I don't have to worry about it so much anymore. So, and I did it recently, it was Friday. Just basically got any crumbs or dirt that we've had the past couple days. Uh, anyway, um, I'm a little warm, but I'm thinking after Bible time, I'll go ahead and put the, the AC on. I'm just, right now, I'm not going to deal with it. Where's my Bible? Uh, oh yeah, I am. I had read it in bed this morning. My own devotional time. Um, I just want to give a little, I guess you say a little shout out to my grandmother. Um, thank you so much. I know I've thanked you a long time ago for my quilt. This thing right now on my bed. <laughs> but it has come in handy so many times throughout my, I call it my sick blanket or my sick quilt. Because I, it just gives me a sense of comfort whenever I feel sick so thank you so much for it not only did I appreciate that you made me a quilt and that I love the colors and I all the dolphins and ocean thing that used to be my thing back in the day when I was younger but um, um, but also just knowing that you prayed over I know you pray over every quilt that you make and that you put so much time and effort in making it high quality quilt so it gives me a sense of comfort I think it also the weight of it also gives me a sense of comfort so anytime I feel sick or feel blah whenever it's that time of the month for me or if I have these headaches or whatever or I'm just tired feeling blah feeling sick got sinus crap whatever is going on with me I'm not feeling well 
I take your quilt and I use it. I do have it usually on the back of my um, couch here and I do pull it down at times and use it as to cover me up as well when I'm on my computer but that's what I gravitate towards and I used it last night and yesterday well, basically all this weekend when I wasn't feeling well so thank you grandma and I do appreciate everything you do um, I know you put a lot of effort into every single quilt that you make and I'm sure everyone is blessed anyone who gets one is blessed to have one because it's such high quality and you do such a wonderful job with every single one that you make so not any idea and it's a nice keepsake and then I know it's gonna last for years I hope to have it until I die so um, so thank you for that um, it's coming quite handy anyway um, it is everybody's favorite time of the vlog Bible time so we are still in Genesis lovely Genesis. Got a little of it. <laughs> okay, we're in chapter 26 now. Isaac deceives Emblick. Embilic? I think that's how you spell it. Probably didn't say it. I don't know. <laughs> a severe famine now struck the land as had happened before in Abraham's time. So Isaac moved to Gerar, where Emlik, king of Philistines, lived. The Lord appeared to Isaac and said, Do not go down to Egypt, but do as I tell you. Live here as a foreigner in this land, and I will be with you and bless you. I hereby confirm that I will give all these lands to you and your descendants, just as I solemnly promised Abraham your father. I will cause your descendants to become as numerous as the stars of the sky, and I will give them all these lands. And though your descendants, all the nations of the earth, will be blessed, I will do this because Abraham listened to me and obeyed all my requirements, commands, degrees, and instructions. So Isaac stayed in Gerar, or Gerar, like that. Okay. When the men who lived there asked Isaac about his wife, Rebecca, she said, he said, oh gosh. Now he's following in his father's footsteps and saying that, because when Abraham did the same thing and Abraham said this was my sister, about Sarah. Now Isaac's doing it like father like son saying the same thing she is my sister he was afraid to say she is my wife he thought they will kill me get her because she's so beautiful sometime later Emlech king of the Philistines looked out his window and saw Isaac caressing Rebecca immediately Emlech called for Isaac and explained she is obviously your wife why did you say she is my sister because I was afraid someone would kill me to get her to get her from me, Isaac replied. How could you do this to us? Emlick exclaimed. One of my people might easily have taken your wife and slept with her, and you would have made us guilty of great sin. Oy, history keeps repeating itself, doesn't it? Then Emlick issued a public pro proclamation. Anyone who touches this man or his wife will be put to death. Conflict over water rights. <laughs> oh goodness. When Isaac planted his crops that year, he harvested a hundred times more grain than he planted. For the Lord blessed him. He became a very rich man and his wealth continued to grow. He required so many flocks of sheep, goats, sheep of sheep and goats, herds of cattle and servants that the Philistines became jealous of him. So the Philistines filled up all Isaac's wells with dirt. <laughs> okay. These were the wells that had been dug by the servants of his father Abraham. Finally, Emlech ordered Isaac to leave the country. Go somewhere else, he said, for you have become too powerful for us. Well, sidebar called envy. God kept his promise to bless Isaac. The neighboring Philistines grew envious because everything Isaac did seemed to go right. So they filled up his wells and tried to get rid of him. Envy is a dividing force strong enough to tear apart the mightiest of nations or the closest of friends. Booked by Green Eyed Monster lately? A thankful attitude is just what the doctor ordered. You might thank God for what he's already given you. A thankful attitude is a helpful way to keep anger under control. So Isaac moved away to Gerar Valley, where he set up their tents and settled there. He reopened the wells his father had dug while the Philistines had filled in after Abraham's death. 
Isaac was restored the names Abraham had given him. Isaac's servants also dug in the Gerar, Gerar Valley and discovered a fresh, a well of fresh water. But then the shepherds from Gerar came and claimed the spring. This is our water, they said, and he argued over it with Isaac's herdsmen. So Isaac named the well Isaac, which means argument. Isaac's men then dug another well, but again, there was dispute over it. So Isaac named it Sitna, which means hostility. Abandoning that one, Isaac moved on and dug another well. This time, there was no dispute over it, so Isaac named the place Rehoboth, which means open space. For he said, at this, at last, the Lord has created enough space for us to prosper for the, in this land. For, from there, Isaac moved to Bathsheba, where the land appeared to him on the night of his arrival. I am the God of your father Abraham, he said. Do not be afraid, for I am with you, and I will bless you. I will multiply your descendants, and they will become a great nation. I will do this because of my promise to Abraham, my servant. Then Isaac built an altar there and worshipped the Lord. He set up his camp at that place, and his servants dug another well. Another sidebar called Parents and Choices. Esau's marriage to women from an enemy nation caused his parents grief. After all, he didn't allow them to have any say over his choice of brides. Since parents usually arranged marriages for their offspring, Esau's decision spoke volumes about his relationship with his folks. What do your decisions reveal about your relationship with your parent or parents? What, if anything, would you be willing to change about that relationship? I have a pretty good relationship with my parents, personally. Sometimes we go back and forth about silly things, really, but overall we have a good relationship. We communicate really well, so I really don't have any disputes, and I usually go to them for advice, so I don't have any problem with that. Isaac Covenant with Emlik. One day King Emlik came from Gerar with his advisor Ahuzoth. I don't think I said that right, but okay. And also Pickle or Pikal is army commander. Why have you come here? Isaac asked. You obviously hate me since you kicked me off your land. They replied, We can plainly see that the Lord is with you, so we want to enter into a sworn treaty with you. Let's make a covenant. Swear that you will not harm us, just as we have never troubled you. We have always treated you well, and we want, and we sent you away from us in peace. And now, look how the Lord has blessed you. So Isaac prepared a covenant feast to celebrate the treaty, and they ate and drank together. Early the next morning, they each took a solemn oath not to interfere with each other. Then Isaac sent them home again, and they left him in peace. That very day, Isaac's servants came and told him about a new well they had dug. We found water, they explained, so Isaac named the well Sheba, which means oath. And so to this day, the town that grew up is called Beersheba, which means well of the oath. At the age of 40, Esau married two Hittite wives, Judith, the daughter of Ber, Berar, or Beer, Be'ar, or something like that, and Basmeth, the daughter of Elon. But Esau's wives were mate made life miserable for Isaac and Rebecca. Okay, so that is chapter 26. So, thank you, Lord, as always, for your living, breathing word. Now, getting into the collective journey. Sorry, I am quite itchy. Alright. We're on chapter 5, which is titled, What is Life Giving? But by the remarkable grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace toward me was not without effect. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10. The last chapter of the core self foundation asks the question, what is life giving? The answer is not in activity, but a disposition, disposition, disposition. When we take on the nature of God, yes, God loves me, yes, God grants me peace, but the grace of God, when applied, gives a way to every aspect of life and leadership. 
We receive God's grace, apply it to ourselves, and then learn to give it away to others. The what, in being led by me, is no longer gulging success by human accolades. Instead, I long for the next prayer retreat when I can hear God's whispers over my life. I know where I fall short and how I am insignificant, but through grace, God reveals what matters most. Through this grace model, I can begin to operate in what God designed me to do. What flows in also flows out, giving space for a new per perspective, one that is heaven downward, God's perspective, rather than earth up, my and others' perspectives. Grace has a simple definition. Unmerited favor, privilege, favor, undeserved. Maybe you feel a little like me. I have always needed a double dose of grace. Like Paul, I am able to say, but by the remarkable grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace toward me has no, has not without effect. 1 Corinthians 15.10 Thomas Brooks, a Puritan preacher, beautifully illustrates the idea of powerful grace, saying, grace and glory differ very little. One is the seed, the one is the, and the, the other the flower. Grace is very, <laughs> grace is glory militant. Glor glory is grace, triumphant. Good, right? Grace is the seed and glory is the flower. Because of how we allow grace to grow in our lives, receive it, apply it, nourish it, grace makes us a better version of ourselves. We get to do what we do. Grace is not a little whiny weakling. One dose of grace remains powerful and life-giving. Grace grows up and makes what we do get... Let me reread that again. Grace shows up and makes what we get to do milit militant, active, radical, revolutionary. The glory that shines over us from grace is triumph, successful, winning, victorious, conquering. If you're not experiencing the love and peace of God, then you need more grace. Grace moves into our lives and radically changes us from what we used to be to what we are now becoming, a better version of ourselves. The seed of grace is planted in the inner you, the spirit. The glory that comes from grace shines all over the outer you. This makes me want to go out on my porch and shout, Grace! 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 It's life-giving. I remember giving some grace to my son Andrew. He did not deserve it, and he knew it, but I felt the Holy Spirit nudge me to show him grace. I remember his reaction when I applied grace to him. He instinctively threw his arms up over his head in a rocky balboo motion. I'm sure I heard the theme music playing and shouted yes in a triumph in victorious motion. With grace, my friend, you will win every time. In the previous chapter, I asked you to think about your cave dwelling places, the not so good times of your life and leadership. Take a moment now and allow the Holy Spirit to apply grace to the wounds, hurts, unforgiveness, and possibly shame you feel when you reflect on those hard places. Isaiah chapter 55 verses 12 and 13 says, You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song before you, and all the trees of the field will clap their hands. Instead of the thorn bush will grow the juniper, and instead of briars the mortar will grow. This will be, your, be for the Lord's renown, for an everlasting sign that will endure forever. To conclude this foundation, let us concentrate on this truth. Instead of briars, the mortar will grow. The roots of the mortar tree run deeply, in rich and firm foundation so that nothing sways or moves it. When the water on the surface has dried up, the mortal tree is rooted and will draw water from deep within to sustain it. The core cell foundation is not a step to skip in the collective journey. The surface water will often dry up, leaving behind only what remains below, to deep places no one will ever see. In those times, you will need to be well watered by God to sustain the drought. Reflecting questions. Number one. How is grace winning or victorious in your life? Question number two. What particular spiritual discipline have you started this month that has become life-giving for you in life and leadership? 
Question number three, what is your plan to continue implementing this life-giving practice into your life and leadership? Hmm, some questions we also have to go over. So I hope you guys can figure out what you want, how you want to answer those. I'll repeat them for you again so you guys can write it down if you want. One, how is grace winning slash victorious in your life? Two, what particular spiritual discipline have you started this month that has become life-giving for you in life and leadership? And number three, what is your plan to continue implementing this life-giving practice into your life and leadership? Okay, so that is part five of that, of chapter, what was this chapter five? Was it chapter five? I just read. Yeah, chapter five. We're in chapter five, and then there's like parts one and two of that chapter. So, as always, thank you, Lord, for your advice or give life giving um, advice for it. Anyway. Hope that has helped you in any circumstance. Um, what am I gonna do? Oh, I wanted to actually ask some of you. Um, um, I thank you for all those who have been watching my videos lately. I am so grateful for that. I'm gonna go ahead and get on real quick to show you guys so far. Um, I have some people from different countries. Um, I'm not so much with um, clicking on my videos. Thank you, by the way. Um, I know some of you probably don't understand all English, especially if you are um, from a different country. So if you guys would love um, those who are not from the U.S. or Canada, because um, I have some people that are from have clicked on my videos are from Italy and Malaysia and yeah I think there's another country but I can't think of what it is I think it was Canada I'm thinking of but Canada can understand English um if you would like subtitles just let me know I don't know if you can automatically um you know click on it or not but if you would like let me know in the comment section if you can on my thing um in the comment section of my videos so I can automatically give you subtitles so let's go to I guess this one I can go into I can go into the Analytics, I think it's what it is. I'm not actually going to upload anything. Um, here, I'm going to show you guys just a moment what I have been seeing. Ooh, that's an up close in person here. Okay, I think. There we go. So you can see that um, this is what my the views have gotten. Content, blah, 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 blah. And it actually tells me some other things. Like, like see right here? It'll tell me channel like what the percentage is and stuff like that so which is awesome and it tells me how much views this is getting and stuff like that um tells me the impressions and all this other jazz um and what you guys prefer to basically it just tells me gives me information what is popular and what's not so thank you for anyone who's liking the stuff um let's see um does it show? Oh, there's the audience. Okay, so returning views are the purple ones, and the new viewers are the blue ones, as you can see. Um, I also have a lot of you are not subscribed. Obviously, you guys, that's opinion. Those who are subscribed, thank you. If you're not, that's okay too. I'm all right. <laughs> um, there's more of a male gender versus the females. I don't know how they um, know what you are but anyway 
Um, the ages are from 25 to 34. Um, I don't think I would have a younger audience anyway, but I'm sure it has some older ones too. We'll just say 25 plus. <laughs> and it also tells me most are in the U.S. that are watching me. Um, it has some in Malaysia, Italy, Italy Canada. I think that's it. Yeah. So here's like the audience and stuff like that. So thank you for all those who are um, watching my videos. So I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do probably, I don't know if you guys can speak and understand English. So I'm going to go ahead and put subtitles for those. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. If you are a certain, if you later down the road, if you guys, you know, don't understand English, let me know so I can put subtitles in my videos so you guys, I don't want to feel like you guys um, are totally left out of the, um, totally are left out and don't understand what I'm saying. I feel that same way of when I'm watching my Asian rom-coms, if I don't understand the English, if they don't have subtitles, I totally have no idea what they're saying and it bugs me because <laughs> I want to know what they're saying. I wish I was bilingual. Honestly, I wish I could speak it, write it, understand it fluently, but I don't. <laughs> I know a little bit of sign language and I know a little bit of Spanish, but that's all. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do some of those. Put those in your languages, but just in the comment section, put S-U-B-S subs so I'll know what you guys want. And obviously, if I don't understand your ing like language, hopefully I'll figure it out. But who in the world? Oh, it's my grandmother. <laughs> it's their anniversary. By the way, happy anniversary to both of my grandparents. Your card has been sent out a little late. I sent you guys, obviously, a thank you um, thing. But um, I sent you text for both of you. But... Your card is a little late because I left it out, the card, on the table Friday and no one wrote it until Sunday. I had wrote it right away and they didn't so it is in the mail. It's going to be sent out. But happy anniversary by the way. You guys are awesome. And thank you for tuning into all my videos. My grandparents are awesome. Even though I might scramble and talk about nonsense. <laughs> Thank you guys. Anyway, yes, by the way, going back to the subs, so please let me know if you want subtitles in the videos. I will try my very best to remember that and put them in there. So, yeah. That's what I just wanted to tell you guys. Those are my viewers are coming back. So thank you for everyone that has subscribed. Is this place? I'll get it in here. I'll get it here in a minute. Yeah, I read perfectly fine through Bible reading, and now I'm trying to get what I wanted to say, and it, I word vomit. But anyway, <laughs> so I will get subtitles as soon as possible for you guys, because I don't want to be impartial to you guys, because that just is unfair to you. So I will do that. So thank you for all the subscribers and all who come and watch my videos. I'm just so thankful. <laughs> um, God is so good. So. Yeah, I'm just going to do, I don't know what I'm going to get into, so I'll see you guys when I see you. Okay, <laughs> it is the evening and I'm in my closet again because it's so stinking loud out there with having the AC unit, but otherwise it's just too hot in my room, so I have to have it on and I have to come in here because I can't hear myself talk. But anyway, um... I ended up taking a nap, which was nice. I got lots of rest this weekend, and I'm feeling better. Amen. I haven't had my headache, migraine thing going on, so thank you, Jesus. You delivered me from that. Woohoo! I worked on my dollhouse some more. I'm getting some progress done with that. It's a little frustrating because the wood, I don't know, something wrong with that wood. It's just too thin, and I can't get it to work the way I want it to, so it looks crooked whatever it's my dollhouse I'm not selling it I'm not giving away to anyone it's my masterpiece and I can at least say I did this when it's all finished all said and done so 
I'm at least getting some progress done. I'm not putting it off so much. So little by little, we're getting somewhere. Hoping by the end of this year that it'll be completely finished. I'm not holding my, I'm not going to hold my, I'm not going to get my hopes up on that situation because I tend to delay things and I'm hoping the goal is to get it done this month or this year but who knows this week for as far as work is kind of crazy and weird normally this week would have had tomorrow would have had three houses one of the houses got canceled because of such a situation with the family nothing wrong with us it's just a weird dynamic. There's some moving going on with one house. So temporarily not working for them for a while until that situation is um, plateaued and situated. Um, one of the house, another family, they are moving down to Florida. Um, they've already moved their, their grandmother down there. We've had to, um, they've had to cancel because they think they're sick from going down there. So, we're not going in that time tomorrow. So, then we had to switch around with, so we only have one house, which is fine, but at the same time, why go all the way just for one house? So, we're taking one of our houses that we usually do on Thursday, which we usually have four, taking one and doing it on tomorrow. <laughs> Wednesday is Zussi's house and then one of the other houses that we're going to do. So we only have two to, on Wednesday and then Thursday have the three. So it's not hard, I like to say. It's just going to be weird. It's not a routine that we're normal, normalized. But anyway. Um, so that's our week. And then Friday's going to be crazy busy. There's lots going on. Cleaning up. The morning we're going to be cleaning up. Church. Um, pavilion area. So we have a lot going on there for the picnic on Saturday church picnic that is and then we have our friends coming that afternoon visit which is great fine dandy and then that evening I have a bible study so my Friday is going to be jack packed I don't know if I'll get vlogging done at all we'll see about that I don't know might have to wait till Saturday and then Saturday I don't even know if I can get I'm going to try to vlog somewhat on Saturday I just don't know if I can get it all done because of Saturday's picnic but we'll see I'm hoping to do a video also with my cousins if we have the time. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have because I've been wanting to do another video with them so I'm hoping they'll want to and they'll be willing to. They'll know if we'll have a nerf gun battle or not Saturday. That'd be cool but I doubt it because we'll be all tired and took it out so. <sighs> anyway. Because <laughs> um, my brother has gotten a whole pack of new nerf gun battles or nerf bullets and he's got a new gun so it'd be fun to have one with my one cousin so we'll see if we're not tuckered out by the evening we'll have that and then have um the video that i want to do so hopefully they'll be willing to participate in that and if we're not all exhausted by the end of the day after the picnic we'll see um anyway that's how my day is going on it's pretty good pretty chill um i'm just glad i don't have a headache migraine thing going on and i'm hoping and it didn't rain today, which I was surprised. It, um, Ricky had said it was supposed to rain till Wednesday, so maybe the weather's changed. I don't know. The weather's constantly changing on me. Constantly. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. As always, keep on smiling. Stay positive. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.